Welcome to step four of setting up Citrix DAS on Citrix Cloud. In this step, we will set up user access to our sample Windows 11 desktop with a delivery group. From the Citrix DAS management console, click Delivery Groups and then click Create Delivery Group. In the pop-up window, click Next on the introduction screen. You'll notice that the machine catalog that we created in the third step has been selected for us automatically as the only one available. Click Next and select the Leave User Management to Citrix Cloud option for this example. This makes the delivery group available as a library offering that you can easily assign to users. Click Next. Now we have an option to add published applications. Published applications are typically served up from multi-user hosts for optimal scalability and cost savings, but you can also publish apps from single-user hosts too. We'll click Add and select from Start Menu. This will reach out to that virtual machine and enumerate common registered apps on it. We'll select Calculator and Notepad for this example. Then click OK and Next. Now we proceed to the Summary section and name the delivery group and display name. The delivery group name is what admins will see when managing it and the display name is what users see. Click Finish. Our delivery group is now created. Next, we need to assign the users to the delivery group so they can access the resources. In the upper left corner of the screen, click the menu icon and select Library. The delivery group you have just created is displayed. One entry for desktops and one for applications. Click the three dots for the desktops version and then Manage Subscribers to add in domain users for this example. Then do the same for the applications version to ensure all domain users can access the Windows 11 desktop and the two published applications we've made available. Notice that the subscribers are now showing one instead of zero for each of the offerings. This concludes step four, setting up user access with the delivery group. In the next step, we will launch an app and desktop as a user.